Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. And yes, I forgot to give you my hours. There's my hours. I did play a little bit. Um, but yes, welcome back, and welcome all the new people as well. We've had a, uh, a good, healthy influx of new people, which has been rather nice lately. So yeah, welcome to all the new ones, as well as uh, welcome back to all the old ones <laughs> as well. <laughs> Don't worry, we're doing good here. We like to have fun, so, yeah. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Um, it's not very entertaining, but it is it is funny sometimes, I think. I'm not funny. It's the the, the content that ends up being funny at some point. Maybe one of these days. <laughs> anyway, we've got a few new mods to look at as well. Uh, two new mods. Uh, I just happened to be floating around uh, the YouTubes and watch somebody else um, that was doing a modded playthrough. Just kind of looked and see what two kind of mods they were running, and I found two mods that are really, really good. I guess maybe not really, really good, but they're they're good. They're they're okay. <laughs> we'll just get right into it. <laughs> okay, so you won't be able to see anything, obviously, but. Um, uh, the first mod is Container Screens by Andre Aquila, which is uh, really, really nice. And we've got Special Containers by Andre Aquila. Um, actually, the, the, the screen ones is the one I picked up from a YouTube video, and the Special Containers was... When I was searching for the Container Screens, I found Special Containers as well, which looked uh, rather good, so... Yes, we are going to be doing that. Um... So, the container screens, you will now see. This is a really cool mod, I like this. Um, we can now see what's in the box, and how much there is of it, and how full it is. Uh, we did run out of power a little bit ago, so. There's nothing in this box. There's some rods in this box. There's some rods in this box, and plates in this box. And yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Um, which you'll be able to see. And, uh, yep, that one as well. We got some concrete. We got 2,627 concrete. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. Uh, as well as the special containers. Uh, let's go get some plates first. I was playing around with the mod earlier, and I didn't have, <laughs> didn't have any plates, but I didn't. I grabbed some, but I didn't save it, so. Um... There's my plates being stored. I'm just gonna grab all those. Oh yeah, I have by I've I went and tore down a forest. Um. So yeah, you see that plateau over there? That plateau used to have a forest on it. It no longer does. I tore that down. Tear it down. <laughs> so yeah, um, I went ahead and got these. Picked up a few more mods. Thought it was that they looked really good. So. Um, the reason I thought this other one looks really good, it's, uh, and look at all these options, right? So you've got the double wall, which this container, or these two containers are supposed to be able to fit, um, uh, a double wall, um, uh, what do you call it? Conveyor belt holes. The double wall conveyor belt holes. Um, and this one's supposed to fit the triple. So, yeah, it's three containers. Uh, just kind of merged together. Looks like. Yeah. A little flickery, but it looks like they just kind of merged them together. Um. Little, little mushed. But it works. Uh, sadly, there's no quadruple for, like, hooking up to manufacturers, at least from what I see here. There might be later. Um. We've got this one as well, the triple stack um, for the dual uh, uh, the dual storage containers. And then we've got fluid containers as well. Um, oh, we also got this as well. This thing has a uh, needs a lot of materials to build, but I think that's one. 
two, three, four containers inside of a little box. Uh, there's also this one, which is... <laughs> don't understand this one, but uh, I guess. It's got four inputs and four outputs, and it's only two containers. So, two container sizes. There's also this one. It's a big industrial storage container, so this one's got uh, two inputs and two outputs. So, uh, really nice there. Um, as well. You also got the small storage container, which looks like a splitter. I can actually build this one. So yeah, it's a little small storage container. It looks like it's got two inputs, two outputs. Um, but it looks like one of the programmable splitters. <laughs> that's, that's what it looks like. Actually, is that a splitter or merger? Oh no, it is a splitter, of course. Uh, programmable splitter. Uh, and you got the small fluid buffer, which uh, we don't have cover sheets, but yep, it can hold up to I think they said like 400. Yeah, 400 is that cubic meters? 400 cubic meters of fluid, because fluid's always measured in cubic meters. Well, it's not always measured in cubic meters, but yeah, whatever. Unless it's um, Unless it's measured in movement, uh, or unless you're measured in the U.S., then it's gallons. <laughs> I will probably not strictly the U.S., but I know we we like to uh, being the U.S. We like to uh, people always wonder. Um, we need to get going on this stuff over here. Uh, oh wait, let me get to over here first. Need power. <laughs> need power first. But, uh, you know, being in the U.S., we like to have our own stuff, our own measurements, of, and that's that's why. People wonder why. Why do you why do you guys have all, the, all that stuff yourself? You now, why don't you just use this measurement? It's so much easier. It's like, yeah, but we like to have our own. <laughs> I mean, I didn't come up with the choice. It's just what I grew up with, so I'm used to it. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, hopefully, uh, the, and the thing I was watching was I was watching somebody play with the, the random, the random mod, uh, which is, uh, what's that, what's the channel called? I'm trying to recall from memory here. Probably should have looked it up. Um, the Redeemed, I think it's called. I think that channel is called The Redeemed. Or something like that. I'm probably butchering the name, and I apologize if I am. Uh, <laughs> I really am. Uh, I really do apologize for that. But, uh, yeah. Really good channel. Really fun to watch. Um, that uh, that channel is... Uh, they were playing with the uh, random... Uh, with the random mods as well. Uh, for this game. And I was watching them play it. <laughs> they... Uh, they had some trouble when it came to uh, some uh, some recipes, which ended up with uh, which ended up with uh, needing where you uh, you need something for a recipe, but that recipe makes the thing you need for the recipe. <laughs> so, say we needed say this recipe was on screws, right? So, say we needed to build screws, and we need um, rods to build screws, but in order to, in order for us to get rods, our recipe was you needed screws to get rods to get screws. <laughs> It'd be this never ending cycle. <laughs> they had that with, uh, alumina solution and aluminum sheets where they needed, or they had aluminum sheets to make alumina solution. <laughs> but uh, alumina solution makes aluminum sheets. So, <laughs> but you needed the thing you needed to make. It's just a circular fucking logic bullshit. <laughs> it's just like, uh, no thanks. So if it ever gets that bad, I think we will call it. I mean, we didn't set this challenge specifically that we were going to follow it 100% to a T. Um, I do have above the mods list, which is down in the description, by the way. Um, if you want to know the mods we're playing with um, in this episode. Um, 
and also uh, you'll notice above that mods list, it, I did put in there subject to change. So I gave myself a way out, essentially, <laughs> in case I ever wanted to change the list. Um, but yeah, and you're probably wondering if you're near here, you're probably wondering why I'm using biomass and not solid biofuel. You're probably screaming at me like, you need to use solid biofuel, biomass is so inefficient. It's like, I know, but the problem is I can't make solid biofuel. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Well, I can, but uh, it'll cost me. Okay. Solid biofuel does cost me. Um, it cost me 52 concrete, I think it is, isn't it? It's like 52 concrete per one solid biofuel. <laughs> so I decided to not deal with that. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that alone. I mean, I could have concrete and stuff making it, um, and it'd probably be easier on me in a little bit, but, uh, eh. <laughs> I'm too lazy to make a system to do that, so. Well, we have power again, so. That was the whole point of that. Um, but yeah. So as you may remember, last time we built that, uh, we built that train station up there. Um, which today I'm hoping to build more. Uh, that's going to be the plan, anyway. I'll try to. Try to be the plan. Oh, uh, yeah. Just just so you were. 52 concrete. Oh, no, it makes four, but still. 52 concrete makes four. <laughs> uh. I also noticed, too, in their playthrough, they needed, um... They needed a lot of copper and stuff for, for certain things, so... Um, yeah, that was fun. That looked like fun for them. But we're about to have our own fun because, um, we gotta remember too that every time we unlock, or every time we're gonna un unlock a recipe, we need, we absolutely need to save. Just in case we end up with a recipe that we either, it's really, really way too expensive where we can do at least one, uh, one reroll. Or, we end up with a recipe that we can't automate, so. I don't know if that's possible, to be honest. I guess we'll have to find out, huh? Oh, making a lot of, uh, biomass. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, give me that. You can have, you can have that for now. Okay, we're still going to run into this problem here. Um, what am I carrying that I don't need? Yeah, I'm going to put this and this out here for the moment. And you can have this, and this, and this, and this. Um, yeah, that should do it. That should work. Just need space. <laughs> I did collect a lot of wood. I had uh, nine solid biofuel with me, I think, and I used it all, so. I just collected until I ran out of fuel. These go pipe pretty quick, that's why I'm not skipping it. <laughs> it's like, eh, we can sit here and talk for a minute. And, uh, what's not. Oh, it's full on fuel again? Okay. Jeez. I'm gonna fill up on fuel again. I'm making a lot of solid biofuel. Shish. There's another snack. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not putting those in places I can't recover them. Oh my gosh! <laughs> How much do... Uh... How much can I make here, man? Making a lot. Okay, so that'll go in there. Okay. Do we have 3200 biomass? I think we're good. <laughs> we're good for a little while. Can't really do anything with this biomass, but that's okay. Uh, oh, I don't know why I tried to swipe it. So I tried swiping at my machine there. Um, yes. I need to get all the solid biofuel up here. Or solid biofuel, uh, biomass. 
Oh my gosh, we've almost filled the box up. Holy crap. Let's go. We are doing good. Doing good, doing good. Yes. That one just has an S on it for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> just S for satisfactory, I guess. But yeah. yeah. Like I said before, if, uh,. If it, uh, if that mod gets out of hand, we will be, um, removing it from the equation. Um, because, you know, I like, I like a little bit of, a little bit of random, a little bit of spiciness and what's not, but I am not going to sit there and suffer. Um. Oh, thank you. I do not want to sit there and suffer. Okay. That's all the solid biomass. So we'll go put that up real quick and then, uh... Um... We'll go and get our train stations set up for each of these little mini factories, I should say. I guess not mini factories, they are factories. Not everything has to be a massive one, I guess. Yeah, you know, all things considered, this thing... Oh. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say. This thing doesn't run out a whole lot, but... Uh, we'll go to the next one. Try to slow it down just a little bit. <laughs> I like that little box up there. Okay. So yeah, we'll grab some more concrete and then uh Um were we low on anything? Yeah, I don't know what uh turning off the recipes are gonna uh re what turning off the recipe would I even do to the game. Like would I have to start a new game in order for it to not for me to not um screw it up? I'm gonna need screws, give me those. Um, because my game, um, for some reason I need screws for damn near everything. <laughs> screws for all the important stuff anyway. I mean, that doesn't seem like that bad of a, that bad of a thing, but it is. It, it is, it is pretty bad. <laughs> um, cause it's like, oh, you need screws for, for most stuff? That doesn't sound that bad, some of that stuff's pretty a lot more expensive than screws, and it's just like, yeah, but not if you need several hundred screws per one thing. <laughs> you get one thing uh, out of something, and you need like, uh, you need like 500 screws a minute. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm also going to try and improve this series next week. I think. Um, I don't know. It depends uh, on what, um, on what we're going to be doing here. I do need, I need 16 long, or 14 long? I need 14 long. We'll see here. That's 14, okay. So we need 14 long, um, Behind each one of these stations. I have to cut that. Oh, I, I don't have any more solid biofuel. Um. Well, this one's the rod factory, so maybe we'll put the station. Let's see five. 
six, seven, eight. side for 14. That's fine. Oh, there was another mod I was looking at getting, but um, um, our micromanager kind of already does that. But if I can get a mod that makes trains smaller, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having that one. Uh, that's kind of our our thing here. Is uh oh, I'm out of concrete. I forgot to grab. Oh, what the heck's wrong with me? Um, but yeah, I would really, really love to have smaller trains. <laughs> uh, the trains do exactly what they're doing right now. They're just they're just smaller. And like I said, I looked at the mod. Um, it is by Andre Andre Kula. <laughs> Andre Andre, however you pronounce it, um, because I do not know. But uh, yeah, that person has made that mod. Um, that makes everything smaller. But that's the problem is I don't want it to make everything smaller. I just want the trains to be smaller. That's it. So I'm like, well, maybe we can work out something with the micromanager or something to that effect. Um, I needed concrete. That's why I came back here. Oh, my brain's all over the place, but that is uh, all the time. Okay, there's a thousand concrete. So we need to set up all the train stations that need the iron. Uh, and get that into a circle. It needs iron. Uh, iron ingots. But yeah, I think at some point we may see about um, turning off the mod. Um, because, yeah, I'm not up to the challenge, sorry. <laughs> uh, I thought I was, and then I seen how ridiculous this mod can get, and I don't know if I want to be up to the challenge. <laughs> Two, three, four. I think these can sit on four, can't they? And then they just hang off each side. Can't remember. I guess we'll go find out. But I do need me legs. And I need to figure that out. Oh, come on now. Why must you be in my foundation? How about if I get rid of this one? Can I now? Can I, can I reach? Oh, I have no fuel as well. Ah! Look, sticks. Um, tab. No, not tab. Q. There we go. Okay. Uh, production, just real quick. Wait, how did that build like that? That was weird. Huh. Weird. I don't remember rotating it, but... Alright. <sighs> Waste some more concrete. <laughs> see how much, see how expensive this is. This is freaking crazy. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, that. Um... <laughs> Did I not reach out oh, there? We go. 
that person that uh, also did the uh, random mods, they did the random start mod, which is what caused them to also fall through the map and <laughs> lose all their stuff and they had to start with just the hub, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> it's just like, hey, we had that exact same thing. It must be that random start mod then, because they had it on as well. And they fell through the map as soon as they spawned in. And it's a... Uh, the mod needs a little bit of work, I think. What am I looking for? Oh, yes. I do like this mod. This mod makes things simple. Um, or, uh, more simple, because you can set up... Uh, you can set up train stuff way faster. The problem is, is the random... This random mod here is making things a little bit difficult. Let's see, we're only going to need one here, right? Hmm. Because, yeah, we only need... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We only need the, uh, we only need two. So we'll send two here, um, because I have a feeling that we're going to need a lot more rods. Oh, but that's the thing, though, is if we get, if we need another train to send the rods off to, to uh, that place, we don't have the room to exactly do that. I don't know. I don't know what that's good. Oh, what that can do. Or what we can do about that. Because so I can't use the same train. Um. I mean, I could, but the the problem with it being is I have to have an extra car to deliver the rods right over there. Oh, that's going to be difficult. That's the thing, right, about this whole this whole setup that we're doing is. In order for the trains to work, we need these massive, massive stations. I don't know why oh, we had to have this stuff. Um, maybe we need to look for a mod that makes the trains smaller. <laughs> to make the trains work smaller. I don't know. It's just... The trains are so massive. <laughs> I don't know why the trains had to be this massive in this game. Like, uh, the scale of these is fine, and then it just, it just multiplies by a hundred when you start using, like, trains and stuff. And then it starts getting really, really massive, and then you have to have, uh... <laughs> and I put that, uh, limitation on myself where the train has to be five long, I might have to remove that. <laughs> It has to be five cars long because, I mean, although it does look good, it's also a real pain in the ass for little stuff. There's no point. So one, two. We'll just we'll worry about this for now. Okay. Um. Let's go to platform with the catwalk. So one. Uh, we're out of wire. <laughs> Is what I mean. It's it's uh, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. And we haven't even started on the massive stuff yet. We may have to turn it off before we get there <laughs> because that uh, it might screw up that whole 101 or the 100 um, extra stuff. We might have to turn it off before we get there. Before we get to 
what was it, tier 5, I think it was, is when it starts. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'd need some advice on that. You guys have to tell me what you want to see. If you want to see me continue with this mod or not. Why are we low on iron? Oh, I know why. But I came back here for wire, so... We need to grab some. But yeah, like I said, it's, um... It's one of them deals that you just don't know. Um... That uh, we we just don't know what we're going to be getting into here soon. So, and with mods and such, it just it gets a little bit crazy. Uh, it seems to be getting a little bit crazy. Some people are just not up for the challenge. But yeah, the micro machine stuff. Um, that's what the mod's called, by the way. And I think it's also by Andre Aquila. The micro machines we may have to try. Because minimizing the the stuff with the micromanage mod, um, the game does not like that with the trains and such. Uh, it wants to put all of the train cars... Because in this game, it's not like uh, Factorio, um, where you have to... Um, or where you can connect cars and such. This game, you have to connect the cars directly. Um, you have to connect the cars directly to the to the thing. So, but yeah, I suppose what we could do. Um, since it's just a simple little thing, is we could put an extra station up there, disconnect that front one, uh, disconnect the very front load car, just have an empty, have an empty station there, then connect them up this way. Hmm. Okay then. Yes. So I got some more set up as well. Um, yeah, got some more train stuff set up, so I got this one set up. Uh, went ahead and did this one as well. Over here. Uh, this one, because of the landscape underneath of it, all that uh, crap there, I couldn't put the train down in the lower section, so... I just had to move these, or rotate these around, move, move them back a bit, and then, um, yeah, and then we just had to elevate the train, so. The train station will be up here for the rods, uh, which would be just fine. So I thought we'd start here, at least, at the very least, anyway. So... We need conveyor mergers. Let's just start with this. That'll be fine. Oh, it's trying to put Mark twos. Trying to put Mark twos for everything. Which I'll have to change. That's insane. Yeah, these should be more all Mark ones. Wait. Oh, that's right. I had to move these. Fuck. I forgot. I had to move them twice, actually. <laughs> um. So yeah. Just Mark one belts. I'm just gonna start using these covered ones. These covered ones are really cool. So. Let's see, after three of these, these are... So, 1530, 1530... Oops. Oh. There we go. And then we'll have to 
to put a merger here. Okay, and then another merger, like that. So fifteen thirty, fifteen thirty. So that's sixty. So this will need to be a mark two. Come around this side. Um, I will need a convey a splitter. Splitter there. Um, and convey a splitter there. Okay, so then these will be Mark IIs. Actually, this one could be. This one could be a Mark One. Because I've done split it. Okay, cool. This actually looks really cool like this all set up. Everything's all kind of weirdly connected. Anyway, that's once that's that train station kind of hooked up for Rons. And we need um we do need to get this place powered. So I'll set this up. Okay. And then each one of these will have their own little thing here. And then I'm going to connect to this. Okay, never mind. I won't be connecting that. There needs to be a way to get on top of these train stations. Eh. Oh, well, there goes the power. I haven't even hooked up anything yet, so just I just ran out of biomass, I guess. I do have a way of getting on top of this train station, though, without too much effort. Never mind. A whole lot of effort. <laughs> Fuck. Let me up. I know I need me legs, but... Come on. I can make it up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let me up. Oh my gosh, they made the terrain impossible to climb. Okay, we'll just go down and around this way. What the heck? That's weird. What is up here? What are you? Oh, you're the bird. Oh, there's some more of this up here. Geronimo! Okay, cool. Then I just gotta grab that power line there. Oh, hold on. Let me pull this up this way. Actually. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let me pull this up. Let's pull this up to... Yeah, right. You know what? Right there. That'll work. go down there. Hey! <laughs> I always do that because I don't like the... They don't... They, they should have put these train stations with two connections on one on either side. I mean, what, what what's the point of not doing something like that? Making it easier on the player to hook up stuff. Uh, hook up power to it. Like, if it's on this side, you know, if you get your train station rotated, it's easy. I'm just going to directly connect that for now. Um, because this power grid's completely separated, so it's fine. But yeah. Um, and the, I guess the reason 
that I'm considering getting rid of the uh, randomization recipe mod. I mean, it is getting a little, ridic a little bit ridiculous, yes. But I'm also losing my my passion for playing this game. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to, as you probably have noticed, I've started to get a little bored with everything. Just because it's, it's a little, I don't know. Uh, I really don't. Uh, I don't have a good answer. Like, it's just become a little too annoying, you know? That it's it's becoming more of a chore to play than it is... I don't know, maybe I'm just not one of the people that can actually... Um, that can actually do this kind of stuff. Maybe I'm just not one of them type of people. Which I'm totally fine with, you know? It's no big deal. Totally fine with um, turning off that mod or whatever. I'd rather not, but like I said, it's it's starting to become a little bit of a chore to even play. Like I, I've I've been stuck here, ready to build the space elevator for a while because I've been having to plan on. Well, I've been having to plan this, uh, which has nothing to do with the random the, the random recipe mod, but also certain things. It just it's become a little bit of a chore to maintain everything so far. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what other people say. Um, need um, people's opinion on it. Whether they would think that it's a good idea to continue with it, or whether we should just say the hell with it and just drop the damn thing. Just drop it and uh, um, try something different. Either try something different or just leave it all alone all, all together. I would consider though, there is this other mod that I was looking at that um, also made by and Andre Aquila. We'd have to get rid of the uh, we'd have to get rid of the random or mod. Um, not that it really matters anyway. It only randomizes purity. But there's this other mod uh, called Marathon, which um, all the nodes are impure. <laughs> <laughs> Which just kind of suck. Like, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of stuff for that. But I was looking at that and I was like, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just need to. I think I just need to get to. Um, I just need to get to the point where I can actually have a a decent factory going. Then uh, I'll be fine with that. But I'm just kind of kind of in a rut with this game at the moment. Kind of gotten bored with it, I think. Like it's uh, it's no longer with the with the random uh, recipe mod. It's no longer, it's no longer interesting. It's just a chore. <laughs> it's just not fun. When you're beating your head against the wall trying to figure out how you're gonna. I mean, I don't have the bad recipes yet, and I haven't even gotten that far, but. Um. Yeah, when you're starting to get to that point. Just, I don't know if um, turning off the random recipe mod is a good idea or not. Yeah, and this whole train thing, it's, it's fun and all, but... Man, I don't know why it's annoying. Uh, getting these trains hooked up. What I was thinking about... Where is it at? Uh, it was the transport, I think. Yeah. Is there any... Let's see, 16 meter... Is there any smaller ones? What's this one? the heck? Oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay. Let's, let's get rid of this. Okay. That's 
it's all gone. Good. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, building a road. I think 16 meters is the smallest. That's fine. I was thinking about building a road and then building the trains, uh, the, the train line on top of it, which I think might be fun. I don't want to. I don't want to snap it to the train line. I just want to get it underneath there. I have to go up top. If I can get it, if I can get that road to go underneath there, then. Maybe we can uh, get somewhere with this. I don't want to snap it. I want to. I want to. I was hoping that it would snap to the foundation, but looks like it just wants to snap to the train line. Let's see here. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool? We had a like a, ri a, a a riser for our train line here. Or maybe we just stay to hell with it and build the rail. <laughs> just build the rail. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. Just to build that one section, it's like almost a thousand screws. Uh, I think that's a random recipe mod at work there. <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass, isn't it? Like it, it has become that that pain in the ass <laughs> that I did not want. Transport. It's just like, yeah, if, I, if I'm starting to get annoyed with it, I mean, what's the point of, of, uh, of continuing? But yeah, like I said, I want some other opinions on it. Should we keep it? Should we get rid of it? Should I just suffer? <laughs> uh, it'll be a whole new me. Suffering on the. <laughs> uh, yes. There we go. Ah! No! My knees. I don't know, because our viewership has uh, kind of suffered a little bit as of late uh, with this series, so. That's why I was. Uh, curious about uh, finding a solution to that. Uh, it could be just me, though. Um, what I mean by that is it could be just just me being me, you know? Being boring and what's not. I need to be more entertaining. I think that's about... I think that's about where I want it. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. This uh, random mod, I think, has uh, has me down a little bit. It's just like, ah, uh, all the pain I have to go through so far is not even close to what I'm going to have to go through eventually. There's going to come a point where it's going to be so bad. Can I even get up here? Yes, I can. Okay. I need to go over this way. Maybe it's just a starting out bit, I'm not sure. Uh, crap. That ain't gonna work, is it? Maybe I'll have to go up this way. Let's 
so many things to think about and so many things to consider uh, I can't even reach that why can I not reach this there we go oh yeah yeah that I mean screws are cheap and all but damn <laughs> you need a lot of them <laughs> uh. Cause yeah, I don't know if I'd have to start a new game uh, in order to get rid of it. Um, and what not to be a little more entertaining. I don't know. Like season three is not going the way uh, I had planned. <laughs> it's not as fun as I had imagined it being. And it, you know, if I if I'm bored and not having fun, then more than likely you guys are bored and not having fun as well. Um. I don't know. Some people like this kind of stuff, though. What am I here for? Screws. Like I said, I just, I just don't know. Okay. Some more reinforced plating there. Maybe a bit more. Oh no, we got plenty of wire. Well, I, I say we have plenty of wire, but I don't even, I don't actually know. <laughs> Wait, did we lose power? No, we just re yeah, we just replenished that. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know on um on your guys' thoughts on what um. Maybe you got some ideas of what could what could make this more entertaining. Other than me, you know. Don't say, you need to be better, you need to be more entertaining. It's like, well, that's obvious. <laughs> that's, ex that's incredibly obvious, but, uh, yeah. If I see that suggestion, I'm just going to sigh. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm terrible. That's the only thing. Yeah, I think getting rid of the random recipe mod would probably help. Um, that would probably help with the whole thing. Because, yeah, once things start to become, once a video game becomes too much of a chore, uh, for me anyway, it, it stops being fun and it just, you know, it stops being fun and it becomes a chore. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> How many screws? <laughs> I can't even get this connected. This stuff is... Uh, I mean, I know steel's far away, long ways off, but it's... Steel is cheaper. <laughs> like, time-wise. Holy crap. Need a lot of screws. Just to get that connected, man. Ugh. And I'm thinking maybe we, um, maybe we switch gears here uh, a little bit as well. Uh, let me know what you think as well um, about this idea. But we switch gears here and we go for, we just go for a city um, because that's what I did in my first series, but I kind of failed at it um, because of my location. Uh, plus the new update six and whatnot kind of ruined that. So what do you think? We we go for the city build. We go for a big old city build. And we have like um, major bus lines along the center, uh, running along the center main roads and such. And we have vehicles and we'll have, uh, we'll have it raised up like that. See, that's where we'll start over there. Uh, we'll start over there and expand outwards from there. Um, and then, yeah, we do the massive city build, uh, and it's sort of it's sort of like modular building, because uh, I'm not enjoying this modular building. I think this is incredibly tedious to get set up. Um, at least at the moment it is. But uh, at least with the city building, I kind of know what I would be doing because I've done it before. <laughs> this modular building thing, I don't think I I don't think I'm good at it. That's oh, not working. 
but if we do like a massive city build instead but it still is modular technically it's just not um, it's just not as spread out it's still a mega factory but it's a city instead so basically um, if you haven't seen my first series just kind of waiting for screws at the, at the current moment but if you haven't seen my first series what I did there um, was I uh, I kind of built I built like a road system and then a city around it uh, kinda it was, a little, it was not even a small town it was just like a small village <laughs> I hadn't gotten that far um, but yeah I had that let's go fix this by the way um, we're out of ore on that, that storage box. I need to switch it over to the miner. Um, but yeah, we had... Uh, we had these buildings, and then we had these vehicles driving around that would um, deliver stuff to the buildings. And the buildings is what... Um, the buildings is what... Uh, um, what we had... Um, so you say like a screw building, like the screw factory over here, uh, would be, uh, we had a screw, uh, building making screws. Well, that building making screws, um, was just one building. So we had one building making screws and that was that. Yeah, that should fix that. Um, and one building making concrete. Um, one building making other things that we just had the trains for the main portion uh, we just had the trains bringing in materials from outside so we had the we had the collection facilities um, that would bring in the, the raw minerals the raw resources and that would bring it into the train stations or the the main train station the main hub train station. I like this rain. I like the weather that they added. That's pretty good. Uh, it's not exactly cloudy for rain, but, uh, you know, they're working on it. <laughs> yeah, and then we had these, we just had these facilities that would build, uh, that's probably, we could probably go get their screws now. Um, so yeah, and then the train, the trains would bring in the raw minerals. They would get smelted at the uh, next to the train station, which is which was the smelting district, I had districts set up. Um, if you want to go back and watch that series, that series is probably a little more boring uh, because uh, that was the first series that I also started as doing YouTube. I mean, I've been part of YouTube since 2013, but um, the channel did not kick off until the beginning of this year. I think it was like I haven't even been going a year yet. So I'm still quite a, I'm still a noob tuber, is what I call it. <laughs> um, being a noob tuber used to mean, I mean it probably still it does, but uh, noob tuber used to mean in the old uh, Call of Duty games way way back, and um, way way back in like uh, uh, 2009 and 2010 um, and 2008 even. Back in the old Call of Duty games, they had this uh, the grenade launcher, <laughs> and uh, one, I can't remember what the grenade launcher was so powerful in one of those games um, that everybody was using it. <laughs> so they so everybody started started calling it the noob tube and killing everyone <laughs> constantly. <laughs> they started calling it the noob tube to kind of get people to stop using it because it was too OP. <laughs> but that didn't work. <laughs> Literally, as soon as you would start a match on certain maps, you would start a match and then you'd just start getting grenaded. <laughs> At the very beginning, before you even got anywhere. You would just start dying over and over because uh, you'd have a bunch of people on the other team just annihilating you. It was hilarious. I thought it was extremely funny. It's just like, oh man, <laughs> well we've done lost this game, haven't we? So you just put the controller down and walk away because, well, <laughs> you ain't gonna get anywhere. And no point in trying at that point. So yeah, but uh, 
I thought, you know, you know, being a noob on, on YouTube, just put two and two together, noob tube. <laughs> the noob tuber. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% sure I'm not the first one to come up with that. So, I don't praise myself for coming up with things, because more than likely, um, more than likely it's already been uh, thought of. Like 99.9% .9 sure it's already been thought of. I just don't care to look it up. <laughs> but anyway, um, with this rain, which is uh, quite nice, we're going to go ahead and end today's episode. I might play, uh, we'll see what the comments are like, but I might do some stuff on the weekend. We'll see if we can, uh, we'll see what uh, people think about it. Um, but yeah, I could definitely use some, some help here, some, uh, some, uh, uh, I guess some ideas, I should say, because like I said, yeah, this series is kind of ending up to be meh, um, and for, you know, meh for me as well, so, yeah, let me know if you think we should, um, switch gears from the modular factory and go to that city build I was talking about. Which is still kind of modular, just uh, there's one building for each type of item, and then that gets sent um, either via vehicle or train to the different locations, uh, to the different buildings that it needs to go. So, um, and we can be a lot bigger out here. I mean, the other the other city was kind of was kind of meh. Uh, anyway, but. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, be being rained on. Even the world hates me. It's raining on my parade. But, uh, yeah, kind of appropriate as well. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you think. And, um, well, if you want to comment, don't matter if you're new or not, you can comment if you're new. Uh, you can comment if you're not new. It, it's whoever comments to help out with the algorithm so do likes and subscribes and all that good stuff but yeah um until next time uh, maybe uh we'll rejuvenate this series a little bit because it kind of has uh, gotten a little weird but until then i guess let's say goodbye <laughs>